Hello, in this video I'll be talking about Philips Avent 2-in-1 baby food processor and I'll try to help you decide whether you need this or not uh, because um, you already probably have everything that you need to prepare meals for your baby uh, in your kitchen. Uh, so uh, two functions are steaming and blending and as you probably know, steaming is better um, than cooking if you want more nutrients to stay in the food. Uh, if you use um, this type of uh, steam cooker, um, all the minerals will stay in the water, all the vitamins and minerals. And steaming is also good for proteins in the meat as they are not being damaged. Um, before I buy some product, I like to watch tutorials and read instructions when I actually get it. And this was a present, but I watched tutorials anyway. And I would advise you to always read instructions before, uh, before using the product. Uh, because uh, hardly all the information about the product can be included in the video. Um, you get a recipe booklet and uh, manual and this is how they look so uh, some pretty useful information you have there um, and um, I'll go over with you through some most important things from the manual later on uh, coming back to this device um, baby food processor. It is very convenient that you use this uh, one container for both steaming and blending and uh, it saves you time and dirty dishes. Uh, you just uh, flip this, so this is the position for blending. When you flip it, and I will show you later on, then you use it for steaming. Uh, sometimes uh, this gets stuck up uh, then you just have to move it a little bit, position this a little bit better, and so on. Um, so today's uh, baby's lunch will be uh, these different vegetables. And later on I will add some already cooked rice, uh, basmati rice, and uh, put some olive oil. So... This is already a little bit too much. You can steam uh, more food, but later on it's a problem for the blending. And then you lock it down. Here um, you have the container which says you cannot see right now, but it says here you have uh, milliliters and here you have uh, minutes. So uh, if you want to cook for 20 minutes, you will need to add 200 milliliters of water here. Uh, and uh, of course it is obvious, but I will say it, so all the food must be cut down into small pieces. And uh, this is the maximum amount of food. And uh, as I already said, if you want to prepare more, more food, then you can uh, do that. Uh, but I don't know whether that can have negative impact on device, it's just something that I do very rarely. Uh, you can steam the full container, so I could put this also, but it was a little bit too much. Um, and then when it comes to blending part, then the amount of food is limited because it will simply not blend, so you can do it uh, twice. So uh, when uh, we have uh, closed it, 
we flip it like this that's the position for steaming and we turn to the left for steaming it will cook for uh, actually steam for 20 minutes and um, so depending on type of ingredients uh, you will steam from 5 to 20 minutes and uh, in manual you have tables saying how many minutes particular food needs to be steamed um, so it is here you have uh, different languages of course so here is the table in English um, so for fruits you will need from 5 to 15 minutes uh, mostly five uh, and um, so this is the recipe booklet uh, what I'm preparing it's not from there because this recipe booklet is uh, quite limited I'd say uh, it doesn't even say uh, anything precisely just some recipes just to demonstrate how the device is working it will not actually help you when it comes to baby's food and um, of course there are many fruits and vegetables which are not included um, in the table that I just show you so you will just have to try out different steaming time but mostly for fruits it's five minutes and for vegetables uh, 15 or 20 minutes and uh, I don't know what the recommendations in your country are, but you should uh, give fresh fruits uh, as soon as possible. Uh, I've done that when baby was eight months old, um, because of course even steaming uh, will destroy uh, most of the stuff that's good in it. And um, surely uh, you will combine veggies um, or veggies and meat for which uh, steaming time is different. For example, carrot and chicken. For carrot you need uh, 15 minutes, it says so here. And for chicken you need 20 minutes. Uh, you have two options. Uh, for carrot, um, so you can, for example, uh, pour in 150 milliliters of water. So the steaming time is 15 minutes. And uh, uh, do both carrot and chicken, then take the carrot out and pour in some additional 50 milliliters of water and uh, steam only the meat so um, usually I go with the first option um, also uh, what's important to say uh, that if you want to use this uh, device uh, twice in a row you will have to make a pause that is uh, 10 minutes long that that is one of the important things that are written here and um, um, yes uh, we will now just wait for the lunch to be over i hope that baby will sleep until then um, so yes coming back when this is done so i could uh, continue explaining in the real time.